Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we have discussed about how to find out the coordinates of the midpoint. So we discussed about what is median and uh, how to draw a median. Then uh, we found coordinates of centroid. So at that time, I said that we will take in center as an example, and also we'll, we'll also try to solve the co solve for coordinates of a in center. This may be a little bit advanced for 10th, but I have taken this example because in this extensively we will be using the division of line segment formula. Okay, and also we will be using angular bisector formula which we learned in previous classes. So, in center is nothing but point of intersection of angular bisectors of a triangle. Okay, let me just note it down. In sector is nothing but point of intersection of angular bisectors of a triangle. Obviously, we are talking about triangle. So, what is the meaning of that? Suppose from A, let me say from C, right? Now this is the angle ACB, I want to divide it into equal halves, I want to draw a line which will divide ACB into equal parts. That means angle, suppose I say this as D, ok. Now angle ACD is equal to angle BCD, I think, I hope you are with me, that is nothing but angular bisector, ok. Right. Now this is one angular bisector. Let me try to draw another angular bisector. Something like this. This angle I want to divide it into two equal parts. Right. Now this point of intersection, this point of intersection, whatever you are having, that's nothing but in center. Let's take it as G. Okay. Now this is what we have to work upon. Okay, right. Let me repeat it again. We have been given a triangle with three three vertices coordinates we know, and we have to find out the in center. Now what are the inputs to me? I will I will take the inputs for for resolving this is one is my section formula or how to divide a particular line segment in a ratio that is nothing but it is also called as section formula or division of line segment one is section formula what is the other one angular bisector theorem I will just spend couple of minutes on angular bisector theorem so that you just recall whatever we have learned some time back. So if angular bisector theorem is very clear, section formula we have learned recently only couple of videos back, we can apply those and we can find out the coordinate of E. E is nothing but our in center of the triangle. So these are the two inputs which I will be using. That is just for your information. Okay. Now let us see what is angular bisector theorem says. Okay. Let me take another simple triangle. I will erase this. It is just only for explaining. Suppose I have a triangle A, B, C. Okay. From A, you are drawing an angular bisector. That means you are, you are actually trying to divide angle A into two parts. And it joined the opposite side at D. That means AD is angular bisector. This is very clear. Okay. Now only the point is we are interested in finding out what is BD is to DC. The theorem says BD is to DC is in the ratio of AB is to AC. Nothing but BD by DC equal to AB by AC. Let me repeat that again. If from a vertex you are you are drawing an angular bisector, 
okay that means a angle i am trying to bisect so i have drawn a angular bisector that that is intersecting the opposite side at point d then this side is divided in the ratio that means bd by dc in the ratio of the two sides lengths that means if suppose i say that this is length is equal to c and this length is equal to b okay right are you with me then they are divided in the ratio of ab is to b ac that is nothing but c is to b this should be pretty much clear to move forward with in center derivation so let me repeat that again you have a triangle abc from from a if you are dropping an angular bisector if you are drawing an angular bisector that will divide bc in the ratio of lengths of ab and ac that's called the angular bisector theorem so bd is to dc is nothing but c is to b okay if you are pretty much clear we are very very much good to go okay now it's only two steps we will take two steps to prove this our step 1 i'll write it down here so that we'll do step by step and it's clear to you our step 1 i will do here step 2 i will do there step 1 is find the coordinates of d find d coordinates i'll just write coordinates okay right find d coordinates i just want to have the space so that i'll do the final one there okay right find d coordinates so i have space i can write coordinates here find d coordinates we will do that and then the step 2 we will see then we will see step 3 there are only three steps okay right first step is find the d coordinates you know a b and just now okay let me give you the lengths also so that it becomes more easier okay let me give the lengths opposite to angle b the length of ac is small b similarly opposite to angle c the length of ab is small a similarly opposite to angle a the length of bc is a okay this is c actually this is c this is b this is a and this is c okay right now we have to find out the coordinates of d it's pretty simple right because you know a coordinates you know d only the thing is you need to find out this ratio now with angular bisector we have learned that from c if you are dropping an angular bisector it will divide ab in the ratio of lengths of ac is to bc so i will say before that ad by db is equal to ac by bc we have been given the lengths so i will say simply b by a so this ratio this ratio is b is to a that is the ratio b is to a ratio so ad by db is nothing but equal to b is to a so i know the ratio i know that i know the coordinate so i can find out straight forward by applying the formula so what will be my d coordinates d x comma y is nothing but this is l for me this is m these are x1 y1 x2 x2 so instead of l and m it will be b and a right it will be straight forward so it will be bx2 plus ax1 by a plus b comma b y2 plus a y1 by a plus b this is the first step okay now what is our idea our idea is to first find out d 
then we know CD, right? Now I want to do another angular bisector from B such that I will know the ratio of CE, ED. I know the coordinate of D just now I found it. I know C, so I can find out E. Let me repeat again. From C, I have drawn the angular bisector. Okay? So it's a dividing AD, DB in the ratio of B is to A because that's what angular bisector theorem says. Now I know A coordinates, B coordinates and all the ratio of B is to A. So I can find out the coordinates of D and that's what, that's what D coordinates are. Okay, right? Now what is the step 2? Step 2 what we want to do here is let me take only this is small triangle whatever we have right I will take only the small triangle that means I will take only this piece this is B this is D and this is C ok see this very clearly what is the length here A I know the length and uh, we are interested in finding out the coordinates of E E which is dividing this into equal parts this angle it's bisecting the angles so at the angle B you have a angular bisector which is intersecting at E our whole idea is to find out the coordinates of E what is E ok right now I found D just now I know what is C but I don't know what is the ratio of CE is to ED CE by ED CE by ED according to the angular bisector theorem is nothing but in the ratio of these two lengths right that is BC by BD BC by BD now you know what is the length of BC A this is interesting you don't know what is the length of BD do you know what is the length of BD yes I know because AB is divided in the ratio of B is to A and the total length of AB is C. So, since you got the D, right? Okay, let me where I can write that step to you, which is useful. Okay, if you take this ratio as B is to A, right? See, if I take line AB, if I take line AB, okay, AB equal to B is to A, so I take it as BX, AX that is a plus b into x but what is a plus b a b is nothing but c right c equal to a plus b into x therefore my x equal to c by a plus b and i took this as bx and this as ax right that means this coordinate will be a into x that is nothing but a c by a plus b if you don't get it, just don't worry. Let me tell you in a simple way. See here. This is B is to A. That means this guy will get B by A plus B and this guy will get A by A plus B. If the total is A plus B, right? But the total is not A plus B. It's a C. So BC by A plus B and AC by A plus B. So what this becomes now? This becomes AC by A plus B. Correct, right? AC by A plus B. If I cancel this, this is nothing but the ratio of A plus B, A plus B is to C. Now the ratio of CE is to ED is equal to A plus B is to C and I know, okay let me draw the line CED, let me draw the line CED. If you know the coordinates, I am not going to put them again because I don't want to confuse you. See, already you know x3, y3. So, I will just put it here, x3, y3. E, we have to find out. Yes, we are going to do that. And D, we know already, right? D is the big one. Bx2 plus Ax1 and all this stuff. And what is the ratio we found? This ratio is A plus B is to C. A plus B is to C. Now let's apply the formula again. I know C, I know D, I know the ratio. Let's do it for X1. You can do it for Y. Okay. Now this is my L. This is my L. This is my M. 
this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 for this formula okay right so what is lx2 lx2 is nothing but equal to a plus b into x2 is bx2 plus ax1 divided by a plus b plus m into x1 that is c into x3 whole thing by l plus m that is nothing but a plus b plus c a plus b a plus b cancels this becomes this becomes a x1 plus b x2 plus c x3 by a plus b plus c so i'll write it down here okay the coordinates of e that's what we have found it coordinates of e is a x1 plus b x2 plus c x3 by a plus b plus c comma a y1 plus b y2 plus c y3 by a plus b plus c i hope you are with me you are not lost somewhere please let me know if you are not if you are stuck somewhere you can drop me a mail i can explain you right my mail id is loveteachingmaths@gmail.com okay right i will repeat i'll just take 2 minutes to recap what we have done we have to find out the in center in center is point of intersection of angular bisector so we have drawn angular bisector and we have drawn another angular bisector to find out the coordinate of the the point where the angular bisector is bis bisecting the other side the theorem comes to help the theorem says that okay this side will be divided in the ratio of opposite this particular side's length so i know ad equal to db equal to b is to a similarly okay so i found the coordinates of d these are coordinates of d now what i did is i have drawn another angular bisector from here because i know point of intersection right i should know where it is intersecting but the problem here is when i draw the point of intersection ce is to ed is nothing but in the length of bc is to bd i know bc straight forward it is given a but for bd i have to spend some time because the total length of ab equal to cb c and ab is divided by d in the ratio of b is to a when i am interested in bd i have found that the length there is equal to ac by a plus b i have found that the length is equal to bd equal to bd is equal to ac by a plus b that i have substituted and i found the ratio in which c and d are divided by e now i have taken only this line ced i have the coordinates of c i know the coordinates of d i have to find out what is e i have the formula lx2 plus mx1 by l plus m and from that i found that coordinates of in center sir in center is ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3 right the whole idea of doing this example is see here how we are using the section formula we have used it once for d again we have used it for e and also we also recapped our angular bisector theorem which we learned in the previous classes okay in the next video we will see how to find out the area of the triangle given the vertices of the triangle after that we will be doing lot of interesting and complex problems okay thanks for visiting bye for now